Hi friends, hope you're doing good. My name is Tamur and this is my channel, The Cloud Security Guy. Uh, on this, I talk on a weekly basis about things like cloud security, artificial intelligence, and basic cyber security career advice. So if you're new here, please do like and subscribe to this channel and comment on this video. That will really help the channel to grow. So what I want to talk about today is something very simple, which is the AWS Certified Security Specialty and the resources I used uh, to pass this exam. I have a video, another video on this channel about how to prepare and everything. This is not about that. Uh, you can find many, many videos on my channel, on the other channels also about how to prepare. This is more about what are the resources I particularly use to pass this examination. And I thought I would share that uh, just maybe this will help you also if you're preparing. So first of all, what is the AWS Certified Security Specialty? So like the name says, it is a specialty examination within AWS, especially for security professionals. It is not a beginner level examination. Uh, I'm very clear about that. Please, if you do not know AWS, if you've never worked on AWS, uh, this is not the examination to try for. Like AWS itself says, you need five years of IT security experience and like a working knowledge. You know, I don't think you need five years, but at least like a one or two month, uh, month or sorry, a year or two years experience within AWS and IT security before you try uh, attempting this examination, okay? And uh, so it is hands-on. You need to know AWS. It is not theoretical like the CCSP or the CISSP, okay? It's a very in-demand certification, okay? As you can see, the price, the cost is around $300. If you've passed another examination before from AWS, you can actually use a voucher and get a discount, I think 50%. And it's 65 questions, okay? You can do it online or go to a, a, a what do you call, a examination site. But like I said, if you haven't done AWS before, I would recommend doing something like the AWS Solutions Architect Associate and then attempting this. But this is what the examination is. It is uh, geared towards security within AWS. If you look at the exam guide, you can download it. I believe you can download it from here. Yeah, download the exam guide. And this is what the exam guide is. And what the, what do you call, this is the scope of the examination as you can see. Incident response is 12% logging and monitoring, infrastructure security, and around uh, with infrastructure security being at 26%. So if you go there, the biggest, uh, what do you call, uh, yeah, you can see they cover everything, right? WAF, VPC flow logs, NACLs, security groups, all those things are covered. So please do not underestimate this examination if you've never done it before. And uh, definitely, so now that you understand what the examination is, uh, what the basic high level, this is the domains and their domains weightage. How did I do it? Okay, very simple. What I did was, first of all, I did a training on this. I, I used the A-Cloud Guru, but there are many good trainings on UDB also. I mean, this is the, just the one I used. Um, so it's very easy to use. I personally prefer A-Cloud Guru because their trainings, I really like the way they're structured. You can use the UDB ones also and not uh, like uh, promoting any particular platform here. But this is just the one I used. And for the examination, I use WizLabs. WizLabs is quite good. I, I felt that the practice exams are very, very close to how the actual uh, examination is structured, okay? And one thing I do want to mention is, like uh, a lot of people, they get stuck with identity and access management, okay? Because this is a topic which comes in a lot because you need to know JSON policies. Uh, you need to know how rules work. You need to know how identity and access management because the way AWS works, there's like a flow and how identity and access management policies are evaluated, right? You need to be very, very careful, like uh, really good in that. One thing I would recommend completely for free, which is on YouTube. There is this video, become an IAM policy master in 60 minutes or less. I think this is the best video if you want to know AWS IAM. I think it is better than most of the courses, the paid courses, which I have seen. Okay, this is an absolutely uh, excellent video. The, the lady, like she's like, a, I think a senior director or somewhere within AWS. And she walks you completely through the how IAM evaluates policies, how it works. Definitely check this out if you are planning on sitting for the examination. Apart from that, the FAQs, which are completely for free on the AWS website. You can go to here, aws.amazon.com slash whatever you want, IAM and all that. But the, all of them are FAQs. FAQs are very in-depth question and answers like they have and they cover a lot of ground and they basically deep dive and white papers and all of these things are completely freely available. So this is IAM, which I use. I use the KMS also, Key Management Service, FAQ. It's very, very thorough. Uh, apart from that, CloudTrail. CloudTrail also goes into a lot of detail 
and how they use it and everything. So all those questions are very much there. CloudWatch, all of these are used. So this is just to recap, guys. This is the examination, a very thorough examination. If you're planning to pursue a career in cloud security and particularly with AWS, which is the largest cloud pl platform provider, definitely look at this examination. These are the domains. And I used uh, Cloud Guru, but you can use anything you want, like Udemy also. And this Labs is the one I use for practice exams. I looked at this video, which is the IM Policy Master and the FAQs also. So th this is my preparation. Did I pass? So yeah, I can happily tell you, you can look at this. Uh, this is my credly, like uh, the link for my examination. You can verify the badge just to make sure I'm not lying to you. Yeah, you can see. So uh, this is how I use guys. If you are planning for the AWS security specialty examination, I already have a video on this channel on which I've gone into detail how I prepared for it, like how you should prepare for it and everything. This is more for the resources. I used to pass the examination. You can see it's quite recent in January to 2023. So that's what I wanted to show you guys. I hope this was useful to you. Uh, sorry, my voice is still a little bit off. It's getting better. Uh, but please, if you found this video useful, do like and subscribe to this channel and comment on this video if it's useful. Thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.